Today I want to show you how to make an inexpensive and easy lock for your propane tanks. Like most travel trailer style RVs, this has threaded rod and a little bar that holds the tanks in place and this little nut that's attached to this arm. So what we're going to do, normally this bar is going to sit level. I have one of my tanks off because I'm going to refill it, but what, what we're going to do is take this nut off bend one of these arms for the nut straight so it's flat so it'll sit flush against this bar then what we're going to do is drill a hole through here and then have that hole line up to a hole that we'll also drill here and that'll give us the ability to insert a padlock through here using a standard padlock will be a much more affordable option to locking your propane tanks instead of using one of the commercially available products that's on the market. For me this is actually going to be a zero cost mod because here in my toolbox I have a little tub full of master locks that are all key to like. That one, that's probably going to be too short. That's the same. Let's try this one. I think this one will probably be tall enough. I'm going to put this nut and bar into a vise and try to straighten it that way. Well, that was actually pretty easy and effortless. Looks good to me. I'm going to want to drill the hole in this and the other bar a little bit bigger than is necessary for that. Probably two or three sizes bigger. And this is an 11.32 so I think I'll use that. But first I'll drill a smaller hole to get a pilot hole started. I marked my hole location with a center punch. Mark this also. Now we'll go ahead and change to a larger drill bit and finish off those holes. extremely cheap drill press. You get too much load on it and the belt starts to slip in the top. Super annoying. And now I'll do a test fit. Fits good. It's got a little bit of play. That looks good. I think we are all set. After you drill these out, they're gonna have some sharp edges on the back. You can kind of see that right there. So I'd highly recommend de deburring that. I have a countersink bit. That works really good for deburring. It's about all I use this bit for is deburring metal holes. After you have all the modifications done, then you can go ahead and install this. And 
Now one thing I should note is that when you drill this hole and this hole, make sure that it's not going to interfere with this bracket here. I did not take that into account when I drilled this hole, but luckily I've got about a quarter of an inch of clearance right there. And when you twist this tight, you might run into a little bit of interference with the top of the regulator assembly. Once you have the lock installed, then it's not a bad idea to take a couple of nuts that fit this threaded rod, run those up onto the threaded rod from the bottom, and then tighten those nuts against each other, as well as against the bottom of the plate that uh, your propane tanks rest in. Then we'll go ahead and reinstall the cover. And when you reinstall your propane tank cover, I recommend installing it in such a way that this flap opens this way. If the flap opens this way, the wind can catch it and there it goes sailing down the interstate. These nuts don't do a very good job of securing these. There's two little nubbins right here, and those kind of are supposed to keep the, the nut from loosening up, but they kind of make it hard to get the, the cover and the nut tight. I've actually lost this cover on one of my RVs, and I've heard of other people losing it too. So that's my quick and easy propane tank security upgrade. Took me more time walking back and forth between my shop and my RV than it did to actually do the drilling and install everything. That's how fast and easy this upgrade is. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little notification bell so that you get notified when I upload more videos.